What's up YouTube? This is the Nerdy Max here with my Epic 4G on Sprint. And right now I am running the stock EC05 uh, system. I just Odin'd all the way back. It's completely stock. I have not even uh, not even rooted it yet. And you can see right right there we're on the EC05. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, show you guys how to uh, flush the EE03 and um, the ginger bed and I'm going to go ahead and do the Swiss cheese Sam Sprint ROM today. Now first of all, just zoom out a tad, what I'm going to do is, as I said earlier, my phone is completely stuck at this point so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flash it. I'm going to go ahead and go into debugging mode, go to menu settings, then you're going to go to applications, and you're going to go development, USB debugging, select yes. All right, it's in USB debugging mode. Now, take my micro USB, I'm going to plug it in. All right, it's plugged in for USB debugging, and I am going to go into. Already have my one-click root exploit up and ready to run. Now I am using, and I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit on this. I am using the one that has the Clockwork Mod 3.0.2.5. It's important that you get this one, not the uh, other one that will convert it over to EXT4 because these uh, new gingerbread ROMs leak, they're off that leaked uh, EEO3 that has not um, been transferred over to EXT4, so they only work with the RFS. So my phone is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and select Run. and I'm going to press any key. It just takes a couple moments to do. I kind of reposition this a little bit. And it just takes a few minutes. You don't have to press any buttons. Just let it do its thing. And while we're waiting for this, I just want to mention um, whenever you do anything with your phone, that is your, your responsibility. It is your phone. You make the choice to go ahead and root it or flash uh, myself or the developers. Can't be held responsible. Okay, this is completed. My uh, phone is rebooting right now. We can go ahead and press any key. It'll close that up. And my phone is just rebooting. Now now that I've rooted my phone, it just take a couple more moments here. All right. I'm going to zoom this out a little bit so we can see focus on the phone a little bit better. I'm going to show you, go into applications. And there we go. We have our little super user. It tells me that we're successfully rooted. What I'm going to do now is I am going to power down the phone so I'm going to just unplug it and I'm going to go ahead and power it off and we're going to wait till it completely goes off while we're waiting for the phone to finish I am going to go ahead and open Odin and in case you're wondering I have a other video out there that explains how to use Odin Odin to bring your phone back to stock 
what we're going to do today is we are going to use Odin and we're going to flush the EEO3 modem. So right now I've go ahead and select the PDA. I have it already. I'll include all the links to these. And it's ACS EEO3 modem. And go ahead and open that. And now my phone is off, so I'm going to open it up as I have. I'm going to press the power button and one at the same time. That puts it into download mode. Now that I'm on download mode, I am going to plug in the phone. And now, since I'm not actually downloading the full phone, I'm not completely flashing this phone, I'm just going to flash the new modem. So I've already loaded the modem. I'm going to remove the checkbox off this one. I'm going to leave it set to auto reboot. And you're going to press the big start button. And you're going to let it do its thing. And since it's just doing the uh, flashing the modem, it's not going to take too long. It'll pause here for a couple moments. Turns blue, turns green, says it passes. Phone is going to reset. Go ahead and let it reset, restart. Now, all right, so we're back up and just going to go look at our settings now and about the phone. If we look closely there, we are on EEO3, which is that leaked version. What we're going to do now, we are going to power down our phone again. Let it shut all the way down. Now, I've already taken the liberty of downloading the uh, zip files that I need onto the phone. I will include the zips as well. Just trying to save a little bit of time because of the YouTube time, time limits. All right, and I'm going to do the pressing the three buttons. You're going to press the power button, the camera button, and the down button on the volume all at the same time and if I do this properly okay we get to the Samsung and we're into clockwork recovery so now what I'm going to do is always a good practice to oops. Sorry about that. Push something wrong. Let me try that again. And I'm going to zoom out on the camera and make it a little bit easier for me to do this here. Okay, I'm in a clockwork recovery. And you're going to use the volume buttons to go down. And as I was saying earlier, it's good practice to always do the wipe data factory reset. And it's good to just get in the habit of doing this three times. That way you don't have problems. If you don't wipe the data, sometimes the phone will get confused. And it'll cause you to have force closes and that kind of fun stuff. So always just do that three times just to be sure 
then you're going to go to the wipe the cache partition we're going to do that three times and then you're going to go to advanced and we're going to wipe the Delvic as well and do that three times give your fingers a workout here now on this one to go back you can just press the little back button on your phone face alright now I'm going to go into install zip from SD card I'm going to choose a zip from the SD card I have all my ROMs down here and I'm gonna look for the ACS EE03 signed zip and I'm going to press my select button which is the camera I'm going to select install and I'm going to let the phone install and set it here for a second and zoom in on it for you a bit Now this ROM, when you get it up, it is going to look very stock. It's the first one that came out on the EEO, EEO3. So it doesn't have a lot of enhancements. It still has a lot of the Sprint stuff on it. But it will be gingerbread. All right, we went ahead and flashed that. Now I am going to go back again. Whoops, I'm sorry about that. And I'm going to reboot the system now. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. There we go. And we are booting up into Gingerbread. Android 2.3.3 As you can see since I still have the stock kernel it's still coming up with the uh, stock the stock startup and especially this ROM here, it is going to look extremely stock. Don't freak out, it's take, it seems to be taking longer at this point. The first time you flash a ROM, it's going to take longer to boot up. And especially if you're flashing on the RFS um, system instead of the EXT4, it is going to take a lot longer. And if you've been on some of the custom ROMs with the EXT4 and you're used to running that, going back to this, even though you're running Gingerbread, is going to be somewhat tough. Okay, I just got a little vibration. So that's telling me that you should probably be seeing a screen here shortly. Alright, so the default background's a little bit different, but as you can see we're still running TouchWiz, so firmware version. 2.3.3.
So we are on gingerbread. 